Welcome back to another Power BI 3 minute tip. If you're liking these quick Power BI tutorials, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell for more content. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to set field properties for your columns, measures, and tables. And this is really important in case you're working in a team setting, because if you're creating a report on your own, you probably know exactly what your measures are created for. But if you're working with a team, it might be important to document exactly why you're creating measures or what the table or column is useful for. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through how to do that. There are a couple of ways to be able to see the field properties. The first is by coming to a table and right clicking properties. And that opens up this field properties pane where you can in, uh, add a description for whatever you want. So right now I'm adding it to the table itself. So I can write this description saying uh, this is the fact table and go ahead and click off of it and it will update the description of this fact table. So if you hover over the fact table, you now have this description that I just wrote saying this is the fact table. Another important uh, feature of setting this field property is that you can, for a table, you can actually set the storage mode. And the storage mode is either import, direct query, or dual. This is part of the July 2018 update to uh, add composite models. So this is where you can set that storage mode. And that's only for the tables. If you click into it and you now see the different list of measures, you have this number of products measure. We can do the exact same thing and set the field property for that measure. So the number of products is kind of an explanatory title, but you can actually explicitly say, this is the total number of products in the selection. So in case anyone ever comes into your model, they can see exactly what you were trying to do with this measure, because they'll get a nice little description of that. Finally, you can do this with columns as well. So in our executive table, we have a column called name, uh, the name of the executive. So with your columns, measures, and tables documented, it'll be much easier for someone to come into your Power BI file without any knowledge of what you've done, and it'll be kind of explanatory for them. So if you have a lot of columns and measures and tables, go ahead and write up a description for each one of them because it'll really help people down the line. Also, you can get to this field properties pane by right-clicking, going to properties, or you can do the same by just coming to the view tab and clicking field properties, that'll bring it up. So if you like this tip, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next Power BI 3 Minute Tip.